Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your general reading. We're going to take a look at the energy of September 16th through September 22nd, 2021. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cancer. Hope you guys are doing well. If this one does resonate, the link to the extended reading is going to be down below in the description box where you can find out how your person feels about you. It doesn't have to be love. It's just whomever you're thinking about. All right, keep in mind this is general. So if this one doesn't resonate, make sure you check out your moon or your rising sign. All right, Cancer, cards have been pre-shuffled. Let's get to it. So this could be love, money, family, friends, your neighbor. We're just going to see what's up. All right, coming into the current moment, what do we have, Cancer? We have the Eight of Wands, Fire, Leo, Sag, Aries. What's the challenge or the influence to that Eight of Wands? Ooh, la la, it's the Two of Cups. Scooch all down so you can actually see your cards, mom. What's on your mind, Cancer? The Ace of Swords, Aquarius energy. What happened in the recent past, Cancer? The Three of Wands. Ooh, somebody's ships came in. Reason for the reading, why is it all happening? The Emperor in reverse, Major Arcana for Aries. All right, coming into the near future, what will you experience? The Five of Swords in reverse. How do you see yourself right now? What are you up to, Cancer? The Hermit. Major Arcana for Virgo. I don't necessarily feel like this is seclusion or ghosting or being on one's own. I feel like you're trying to figure something out. A person, a situation. He's got the lantern there. He's trying to research. Coming in from your environment, what, what, will, you, what, what will happen? The High Priestess. Major kind of for Pisces. What's going on in your emotions, Cancer? What's up? The Queen of Wands. Ooh la la. You're getting your mojo back. Bossing up. Feeling confident. Feeling attractive. Male or female. Ready to take action. All right. What's the outcome, Cancer? What can you expect? What do we have? We have the Four of Coins. All right. Holding on to some sort of stability. Maybe your money, your possessions. Might be holding back a little bit from someone or them, you. Again, we're going to see how this all plays out. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe, please. Uh, it does help the channel to continue to grow. Leave your comments. I always, always appreciate Cancer, all of your support. You guys have been amazing on my channel, and I really, really appreciate you. Um, again, if you guys want to check out the extended reading, all of that is going to be below in the description box. And then also, uh, go ahead and book your private reading as well. I've put my website in the description box. If you're new or you're not sure where that description box is, it's just the arrow that points down right below uh, the uh, description of the reading. So you'll get all your info there. All right, Cancer, 16th to the 22nd of September. What does Cancer need to know? Something's happening here. There's a lack of control or stability in a situation here. Again, I don't feel like that's a such a bad thing. I, you know, of course, the emperor in reverse can be somebody that's having a big temper tantrum, control freak, throws a, pl a plate at your head when they don't get their way. But it's also just uh, something that's beyond your control. You know, things might be seem chaotic right now. We're going to see how this plays out. You could be dealing with a man child who knows but we'll see all right coming in right now cancer we've got the eight of wands so why is this the current energy right now for cancer eight of wands and justice you might be connecting with a libra major arcana for libra a lot of back and forth communication there's passion maybe even passionate exchanges of communication if you know what i mean again everybody's time is different if this hasn't happened it's coming but this is making a choice or a decision. Balance is restored here. You may have been on a break from this person or something happened, and then in the recent past, it, it kind of came to fruition. You manifested this. You were having to wait, but then here it came. Something like that. Because you've got the Two of Cups, some sort of partnership, relationship. What's this Two of Cups here? The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's now showing that they're willing to put effort or time and it's probably very heated, again, if you know what I mean. A lot of communication going back and forth. Two people here, a decision, a partnership here, though. People are connecting emotionally, and now they're putting in work. So something finally, let's look at that. The Three of Wands happened here in the recent past. Why is this here for Cancer? The Chariot, there you are. You're in your element, in the upright, major arcana, fast and furious, something came in. 
I feel like there's a strong physical attraction to someone here too. The chariot can represent, you know, physical attraction as well. Uh, fast movement, finally victory after waiting. There was a direction that was picked here. Could have been something happened online. Sometimes that three of wands is networking online, but here it came. Some of you, it was travel. On your mind, Cancer, is the Ace of Swords, Aquarius Energy, and the Magician, Virgo, Gemini. See, there's that physical attraction, that illumination. You're drawn to somebody here, and you're, you see this as a victory. You, finally, it's like the yes card. You're definitely communicating passionately with someone. You guys may be talking about traveling to see each other or something like that. This is, this is definitely a relationship reading of some sort. But now in the foundation, we have the emperor in reverse, Aries energy. Why is this here for cancer? This is why I have things happening. The devil. Yeah, see, something's um, keeping you. It could be toxic. But I don't really feel like that with this energy. I feel like this is more a loss of control. There's something that's out of your control here. And it's a major arcana, so it's like a big deal. You know what I mean? And with the devil here, Capricorn energy. Now, for some of you, it is because this person's an asshole or a narcissist. But I don't know. I don't really get And if that's the case, it's because they're married or they're in a long-term relationship or they're a cheater. Something like that. What's this devil? Capricorn energy. The death card. Why is death here? Scorpio energy. This Again, this is why everything's happening. And the three of pentacles. There is a higher power here that's a little bit in the way here. It's, it's like it's beyond your control for now. I think the devil energy is leaving you frustrated with this relationship, whomever this is. It's frustration. It's negative thinking here. But we're changing it, and we see that happened here as well. There's two sets of Cancerians I'm reading. Some, some of you left. You moved on because they put you in a third party. But... Again, others of you now were having this kind of change with the death card, no longer feeling stuck. This all could have happened through communication, like laying everything out. Yeah, like we want the same things. We're on the same page. Yeah, Queen of Cups. There you are. Healing a situation, using your intuition. That's you, Cancer. Some of you decided to write in a journal. I'm just saying. There's emotion here. I think we're leaving toxic, toxicities behind, and I think that there's going to be a conversation or there has been. Yeah, things are beyond our control here, but we're willing to go through death. It's like rising above, changing it here. There's change coming. Others of you just left an asshole behind, female or male. Now, coming into the near future, you have the five of swords in reverse and the five of wands, two fives. So we're overcoming struggles here. Um, something that was beyond your control, five of swords, five of wands in the near future and the wheel. See, change. Told you. Mom told you. It's change. You got change. So the wheel is going to start moving in your favor here. Conflict is, you guys are like cutting that out. And with the five of wands, I think that this was struggles here, obviously, some sort of drama, but the wheel's moving now in your direction. What's the wheel bringing for cancer? In the near future, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Those of you that were, aren't, aren't leaving somebody behind that was already married, that was like a narcissist or some shit, then the Hierophant is this energy with this person. There's a long-term relationship. The universe wants you here with somebody, unless they really did you wrong. Okay, you'll know how this resonates. Right now, you're the hermit. I think you're trying to figure something out. Some of you did withdraw or ghost somebody here, but it was because they just, they were not, it wasn't right for you. What's the hermit? Virgo energy and the fool major for uh, Aries. Yeah, a lot of you Cancerians are going to be quiet. You're trying to figure something out. You're getting your thoughts together here. I don't want to make a foolish mistake, says Cancer. But I want to take this journey. I want to take this leap of faith with this person. You guys are going to be communicating that to this person. Some of you are at a distance from them. What's coming in from your environment that you don't see yet? The high priestess, Pisces energy, and the king of swords. Some of you, it's definitely a Libra, or they have Libra in their immediate chart. What's coming with the high priestess and the king of swords? I'm getting a lot of Aquarius and a lot of Libra. What's this king of swords? Six of cups. Yeah. 
yes, yeah, somebody from your past. But this is a this is a psychic connect. This is a strong spiritual connection. Remember, the high priestess doesn't always have to be ooh secrets and deception. I mean, it can. Remember, there are some of you that this person remained closed off. They were keeping something from you. You're going to cut them off because they they may even have a family or some shit. But I think for a lot of you, this is a very soulful connection. It's an intuitive energy. It's a, you know a psychic, some sort of soulmate stuff. It's a six of cups. I'm telling you, that's what I'm feeling. Nine of Cups in reverse. It leaves you drained. And I think it leaves this person drained too. But not like, oh, I'm so drained. You know, Nine of Cups in reverse. There's a little bit of negative energy. There has been like, wah, wah, wah. We're never going to be together. It's not going to happen. You know, it's that. But there's this energy that's starting to kind of get past that is what it feels like here. How do you feel in your emotions right now? You've got the Queen of Wands. What's this about? Aries, energy, fire, strength. Some of you are uh, Cancer, Leo, cusps, cuspers. What about the Queen of Wands with the strength card? Why is this here in Cancer's emotions? And the Two of Wands, travel. Remaining positive and patient and overcoming obstacles. You feel confident. You know somebody here is very attracted to you and you're trying to make plans. The two of wands is a new path. Look, she's walking on that new path. Yeah, there's a decision to make. Yeah, you're a little uncertain about the future. But the big negative energy, the uncertainty, whether it's distance or how do we be together, you know, something like that. There's, there's been a break in communication about this. And it was either you kind of had negative feelings like it was never going to happen or they did or you both did. And it's like all coming out to the surface now. And you're really trying to figure out how to take this risk. What's the hermit with the fool? Why is this here for cancer? Hanged man. Yeah, you're starting to see something in a new perspective. And I think you're, I think you're willing to wait for somebody here. Not those of you that somebody did you dirty. This would be another energy here. The hanged man is, again, it's waiting kind of in suspense, right? That's why you're very introspective right now with that hermit energy. How do we take this journey? How do I take this leap of faith here? I want to. What's the hanged man? Why does cancer see themselves? It's the hanged man and temperance. Yeah, being patient. You're waiting. You're willing to compromise here with somebody. I think for a lot of you, it's because of distance. It doesn't have to be physical, but that's what I'm getting. I'm getting like, again, Things weren't going our way or somebody's revealing, opening up. There's like a communication here and it feels good, but somebody's still afraid it won't happen, but it's a lot better than it was. It's not as negative on somebody's side here. And again, others of you are just walking from somebody who you're pulling away probably. You want something new. They may have put, made you feel like a fool even. So those are the kind of two sets I'm reading. The outcome shows this four of coins. Why is this here? Four of coins, something to do with stability. What's this four of coins here? Five of pentacles, yeah. Four of coins and the five of pentacles, again, you're definitely, a lot of you are definitely ghosting somebody, pulling away, withdrawing from somebody here, holding back from this energy. If you're a Cancerian who, um, again, somebody really did you dirty here, I, you're not gonna open up to this person. I don't really see them opening up to you either though, I gotta be honest. It's kind of one of those readings where it is what it is. You're on a new path, a new journey, really kind of thinking back on what happened here and how you can correct it, which is positive. For those of you, again, that maybe there was some sort of stuck negative energy with a love interest here, and it doesn't have to be love, but I'm just saying there's a, you know, and I feel like there's distance here for somebody. What's the four of uh, coins here with the five of pentacles? What's this about in the outcome? The three of wands, again, waiting. I feel like this is travel here and somebody's holding on to their investment. Having to hold back from each other a little bit, but remember that four of coins is stability, it's money, it's what you deem as valuable. Because somebody doesn't have enough, they may not have even told you this. Like there's gonna be talks about, come here, no, you come here, or let's come together, or let's, something about that, y'all. I just feel for somebody, that's what this is. And what you'll find is still holding on to that idea with the four of coins. 
And the five of pentacles says there's a little bit of a loss. There's a struggle coming up with that. So there's this waiting period, but there's plans that's being made here. What's this three of wands travel? Ships coming in. The nine of swords. Somebody's up late at night trying to figure out how to get the tangible side of this together. That's what I feel like. Mom feels that. Why the nine of swords? Queen of swords. Again, more Libra energy. Really, really using logic. Like making an Excel spreadsheet. I'm just kidding. Not really, but maybe. I mean, the queen of swords is speaking her truth. Ten of cups, four of wands. What do we have here? Four of cups in reverse. Yep. I mean, that all makes sense. There's somebody here you want happily ever after with. You thought it was a missed opportunity, like the one that got away. They thought that too. Four of wands, celebration and travel, stability, joy coming together. I feel like you see this. I mean, it's not going to happen in the next week, most likely. But there is a an effort here that's being made. There's still like some worry about it, like it won't happen, but it's like so much better than it was before. We don't have as much negativity. Now we're starting to get on the same page. There's gonna be a wait period here. And I think it's to save money, but there is this coming together. I think it's a relationship that could really build in the near future. All right, an extended reading. We're going to see how they feel about you, Cancer. It doesn't have to be love. When you go over to that extended reading, it's just whomever you have on your mind at the time. We're going to see what they're really up to in their everyday life and what you can expect from them. All right, I will see you guys over there. Love you hard. Love me hard back. We'll speak soon.